Hello, I'm Bill Miller, and welcome to this tutorial on using layers within Adobe Photoshop. You can do many different things with layers. What I will be demonstrating today is how to make one portion of a picture black and white while leaving the rest in color. Let's get started. First, make sure the picture you want to manipulate using layers is open. We'll be using these tulips. Unlock the background by double clicking on the picture and selecting OK. For this tutorial, we will need to duplicate these flowers onto a separate layer. Right click on the current layer and select Duplicate Layer. It will have a default name, but for our purpose, we will name it the black and white layer. Now, selecting the black and white layer we just created, go up to Image on the top toolbar. So select black and white. From here, select Adjustments, then Black and White. Now select our original layers in the layer palette. Holding down the left clicker, drag this layer above the black and white layer. Whichever one's on top will be the layer that's showing. Now select the eraser tool in the middle of the toolbar to the left. Whatever we erase on this top layer will show up in black and white because it's now the black and white layer that is showing. Second layer. Don't be afraid to use tools like the quick selection tool. And then hit delete. And it'll all turn black and white if you want just one flower to end up black and white like this. That's how I like to use it, is with the quick selection tool. Whenever you're totally done with a picture that has multiple layers, you want to flatten the image. To do so, select layers on the toolbar and flatten image. That will wrap up our tutorial on the layers tool. Remember to save your picture when you're done working on it, and thank you for watching.